In Final Fantasy IX, there's a side quest that requires catching 99 frogs to unlock Quina's ultimate weapon, as well as a secret boss fight, which isn't that hard to do as long as it's finished before the end of the game. And I was just a few minutes away from the final boss and had to spend an extra 10 hours just waiting for these frogs to spawn. So hopefully this video will help you save a lot of time instead of making the same mistakes that I did. First of all, the most important thing you can do to make frog catching easier is start the side quest as early as possible. Pretty much right after Quina joins your party on disc 1. The reason for this is because the game has an invisible internal clock on how quickly the frogs actually respawn, which activates the moment you step out of the queue marsh and resets with every single re-enter. The longer you spend away from the queue marsh, the more often these frogs will make love and have babies. And there are four types of frogs in this game. The tadpoles, which just float around and are kind of useless. The babies, which is what we will be hunting for. Then the yellow toed adult males and the pink toed female frogs which will be you know creating those babies and finally the gold frog which will accelerate the respawn time and aside from the tadpoles every single frog earns you one point when caught and there are four different q marsh ponds in the game each with a capacity of eight frogs it can take a while to even spawn tadpoles but wait about an hour or two and the frogs should be there it is recommended to have at least one adult male frog and one female frog sitting in each q marsh as it increases the risk spawn time by quite a bit. I went the extra mile and actually made sure to have at least 4 adults in each queue marsh, 2 males and 2 females per pond, alongside a golden frog whenever it appeared. Not only does this speed up the baby frog respawn rate by a lot, but it also gives you 16 frogs ready to be caught, meaning that instead of waiting for every single frog to grow into an adult, I saved a lot of time by just catching the remaining 83 as baby frogs to complete this side quest. So in general, what you want to do is just play through the story or any other side quests like normal and check on these frogs every two hours. Your results may vary but I made a list here for every single visit and here were my findings. Since all that was left was pretty much the final boss I just kind of spent my time just collecting Quina's blue magic techniques or literally just eating a burrito in the background while the game was left open. We've got lettuce on here, we've got melted cheese, we've got sour cream, we got onion boys. I think there was our beans. I'm getting real fat. What helped me the most though was saving the game right before every single visit, then checking all four ponds, writing down their progress, and taking the leftover baby frogs. But if they were still tadpoles or I just wasn't satisfied with the results, then I'd end up just quitting the game and reloading my, you know, previous save. That way, I still had my results written down and, you know, the internal clock wouldn't have reset at all. It's as if like I never visited the Q Marsh in the first place. And if you're playing the port of Final Fantasy IX like I was, then keep in mind that speeding up your game will will not make the frogs respawn any faster, as it has no effect on the in-game timer at all. But it does make in collecting the chocographs in the Chocobo Hot and Cold minigame side quest a lot easier. Now, after what felt like a million years, I was finally excited to catch all 99 frogs, only to realize that my counting skills were a bit rusty. Okay, I got 73. If I can get one more baby frog, then we're pretty much done. And it should add up to 100, unless my <laughs> math skills are off. I think 74 plus 16 is 100, right? No, is it 90? Wait, no, I can't count. Darn it. But once that counter reached 84 baby frogs, it was finally time to collect the remaining 16 adults in each pond. Wait, one, two, three. Oh my god, I think we did it. Four adults, two frogs. Oh no, we're one frog short. I could collect all the frogs right now. <gasps> Wait, no. I need 99, not 100. Wait, we got it. And so I just spent the last seven hours doing these bootleg frogs. These frogs are such a waste of time. Be sure to save before catching the 99th frog though, as it triggers the secret boss battle. 99 frog right there. You gutless turd, I hate you frogs. You're working hard, Quina. I should have saved. Now the time, Quina. You on your own now, from now on. You train to become ultimate garment alone. Master Quill. Before you go, you take final test. I should have put save, but here we go. I spent 10 hours trying to get this frog boss. Alright, we're gonna beat him, get the ultimate weapon, and we're gonna finish the game. Let's do this. I don't know if it'll work. I have an idea. I don't know if um this move works on bosses. I don't think it does. You know what? Let's try 1000 needles. I just got that on the cactuar. I actually found the cactuar. 
first time I've seen one in the game. And so I want to see, you know... Frog boys? I want to see this move. Oh yeah! Only 1000. It is exactly 1000 damage. It's kind of cool. Cactuars are awesome, but when you're up against one, it's brutal. Especially if they're like giant Cactuars. I don't think level 5 death will work on her, but... Because it's a boss. What does Bad Breath do? Is that poison? Oh my god, Confused Darkness, Poison Slow, and Mini. That's like the ultimate bootleg. Yeah, it's probably not going to work because it's a boss. That seems like the ultimate bootleg. Oh, they've been inflicted by something. I don't exactly know what it is though. What is that, Darkness or...? Uh, I'm going to try Remedy. Oh, Confuse. Uh, Asuna or physical attack? Alright, I need to slap Quina. <laughs> Keep flinging frog boys, my boy. Keep putting him in the, ch in the chat. Now stop frog boys. Wait, it missed? How did that miss? I don't know what, like, what's happening to her right now. It doesn't say on the thing. I don't remember. I think it's darkness or is it blind? I'll try uh, antidote if anything. Oh, it shows right there. It's trouble. Okay, they need anointment. That's what I'm looking for. And then also, I guess confusion. Yeah, as soon as I don't think I have as soon as I just need to slap. Uh, what is it called? I just need to slap... Oh, jeez. I need to slap Quina. Give her a nice slap. Just whoosh. Oh, that move might not be good. Oh, we're fine. Frog boys? Wait, does it let you do frog, like, in a line? My boy? Or no? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Pretty much Steiner's gonna, I think, take him out. Each move does, like, ten... It keeps missing. Each move does like 10,000 hits, and then uh, Zaiden pretty much does like 45,000. More frog boys, my boy! Put them all across the entire chat! All the way around. Oh, we did it. Yeah, boy! Oh, night bite. Stop being a bootlegger. Ladies and turds, we got it. We got frog boys in the chat. That took us like 10 hours. Like today. Well, today was maybe 7 or 8 hours. Yesterday was like 3 or 4. Jesus, that was pure bootleg. Oh my god. But, after you successfully do the frog thing, I may have to make a video on this frog trick. I know have more to teach you. I give you this. Gastro fork. Thank you, Master Quail. I trained more. Yeah, boy! We pretty much have all the characters' ultimate weapons. I have every side quest finished that I want to finish. I've leveled up enough. I'm ready to beat the game. 99 frogs caught. Pure bootleg. I'm done with these frogs. I'm putting save. You've had enough, Quina? I sure have. I'm not coming back. My boy with the frogs in the chat. We are done, my boy. 99 frogs right there? You counted? Oh my lord. I was able to finish it in one try, but we now have Quina's ultimate weapon. So if you're still not pulling out your hairs at this point from those god damn frogs, then there's actually a way to give Quina one of her strongest weapons in the entire game. Just walk around the Q Marsh and encounter a Gigan Toad. If it takes a while for you to find one, just end up traveling, you know, to the other three spots until you actually encounter this creature. Then either weaken it or use Quina's Matra Magic ability to bring its HP down to one and make Quina eat the toad. You should now have Frog Drop. Pretty much, with 99 frogs collected, this move can do a crazy amount of damage every single time and only uses 10 MP, making it the perfect end to this tedious frog catching side quest. So I hope that this guide helped any struggling Final Fantasy fans finally catch those bootleg frogs, instead of spending like 10 hours at the end of disc 4 like I did. And if you want more of my Final Fantasy content, then take it under at my website here and you'll find, you know, full playthroughs of the games, you'll find reactions, reviews, 
reviews, and even a video of my experience with the Final Fantasy Distant Worlds concert that I recently went to. Or come visit me on my live streams at twitch.tv slash jacob72 as I play a number of RPGs and we can come, you know, chat and interact with them together. So thanks for watching ladies and turds, and I hope you caught those god damn frogs in Final Fantasy IX like I did, and I'll see you on another lovely episode. Goodbye everybody, goodbye. Ciao.